Learning to move with ease and grace. First, let's slow down the pace. Getting in touch with the feelings within all struggle and effort erase from your face. Hello, this is Rhonda Olson from Woman Shine. Let your true colours shine through and express the real you. Today I wanted to share with you a little tip to help um, you feel better. You know, I've just been talking to many of my friends and many of my clients and it's, we're all saying how hard it is not to have hugs, not to be able to just go up to somebody and put your arms around them and give them a big hug. And those of us who go dancing miss the, just being able to the, the, the um, contact with someone else's body as you're dancing. So I thought I would share with you a little Feldenkrais tip to help you, to show you a way that you can hug yourself. And it's a very simple little thing. If you just take your arm, your right arm and hold your right shoulder, just, just your right, just with your hand, just holding your hand here like this, and just lifting your shoulder just a little bit. Oh, just lifting it, just like with your hand, just, hold, just imagining that you have um, a loving hand, just holding yourself and just lifting your shoulder. You may find you'll take a deep breath and then just let your shoulder go. And let it just sink back down again. And we'll do that once again, just lifting your shoulder just very gently. And just like you're supporting yourself and giving yourself a hug and just letting go. And you may find your shoulder will just sink down as a tension releaser. And then let's do a little movement of just bringing your shoulder forward and bring it back. And just stroking your shoulder so it just comes forward a little bit. Oh. And bring your shoulder forward and bring it back. And now take your shoulder back the other way. Just take it back, just showing your shoulder. I'm feeling how your shoulder blade may be moving back towards your spine. You might feel your arm moving back, your collarbone moving back. Hmm. Now let's go to the other side. So with this loving hand, you're just stroking yourself, just lifting your shoulder very gently. Taking a deep breath. <sighs> Letting it go. Lifting your shoulder very gently, taking a deep breath, <sighs> just releasing any tension and holding. And lifting your shoulder once again. Oh, you might find that you have a yawn. And just letting that tension go. And now just bringing your shoulder forward a little bit, just gently encouraging, supporting your shoulder to come forward. And releasing it. Oh, just taking a little breath, breathing out, just take the shoulder forward, breathing in as you let the shoulder come back and letting it go. And then holding your shoulder, taking your shoulder back a little bit and releasing it. Oh, taking a breath in, releasing, taking a breath in and releasing. And just feeling how your shoulders are resting. And then bring both of your arms around your shoulders just to give yourself a big hug. And look straight ahead of you and just take one shoulder forward and one shoulder back. Feeling your right shoulder coming forward, your left shoulder coming back. Your left shoulder coming forward, your right shoulder coming back. And just feeling how this hugging movement of yourself can just release all the tension in your body. And then just let that go and just feel how it feels having given yourself a big warm hearted hug. So if you'd like to know more about how to uh, support yourself and find ease and grace in your movements and be healthy uh, all of your, or your whole life through, you're most welcome to come along to my age, Aging with Ease and Grace classes on Friday on Zoom and uh, just PM me for the details. So please share this video so you can give your friends a virtual hug, maybe on FaceTime, 
you can just do these little movements and imagine you're doing them with each other and sharing, passing the hug around. So please pass this hug on to your friend. Thank you. And this is Rhonda Olsen signing off from Moonshine. <laughs>